hey y'all welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video i want to get this video out of the way very very quickly before let me silence my phone because yeah <laughs> i want to get this video out of the way uh quickly before we get well into january and i want to talk to you guys about some of my 2020 favorites now the reason why i am doing this video is because one of my subscribers commented in one of my videos that I'd really like to see, uh, even if they're not beauty related, your 2020 favorites. What got you through 2020? And honey, they're all in here. They're all in here and we're going to talk about them. Okay, we're going to talk about them right about now. These are the things that essentially got me through 2020. These are the things that made 2020 a little bit easier to deal with a little bit more enjoyable um yeah and i'm going to talk to you about those things right about now let's get into the video firstly my journals okay my journals i can't find my day planner for some odd reason i was looking at it last week i don't know where i put it because i clean so much in my house that i just i don't know where i put it now i've got two notebooks and i've got my daily planner which i have misplaced i'm not quite sure where it is i've got two notebooks and then i've got this one which is more of a mindfulness one a more spiritual one um i talked about these uh little notebooks on one of my videos in one of my videos i spoke about this now this notebook i use in conjunction with something else and i'll show you that a little bit later but i just wanted to share with you that these things helped me organize my life so much last year that um I, I i i always had something that i was thinking about i had to write it down organize my work things organize my content creation things i absolutely love notebooks and as somebody who um uh, benefits quite a lot from writing stuff down i really really appreciated my notebooks a lot more last year more than i actually ever really ever have so um firstly my notebooks i pick up my notebooks from typo most of the time uh, my daily planners i get from other places I don't know, PNA, I get my planners from Poetry as well. And there's another planner that I ordered. I've got my 2021 planners. And there's another one that I ordered that's coming next week, which I'm very, very excited about. But that's going to come in a vlog. You're going to see all of those in a vlog. But definitely my planners, my notebooks, all of this stuff got me through 2020. Made 2020 a little bit easier for me when it comes to work stuff. My AirPods. <laughs> my AirPods. Okay, like I'm not even gonna lie. These things, I got these for my birthday. I used them so much. The only month where I could safely say I barely used them was December because I was vlogging quite a lot. I was uploading content quite a lot. And um, I really wasn't going out much. I really wasn't, I really just wasn't using them quite a bit in December, but oh, they still have a little bit of life in them even. I loved these. I loved them when I was editing. I loved them when I was out at the shops at a coffee shop and I am reading my novel, but now I can't I can't do with the loud coffee shop noises so i'll put this in and have some calming music some meditation music kind playing in the back while i read my book i really appreciated these airpods or any kind of pods wireless pods for other brands and all of that are fantastic if you are somebody who edits if you are somebody who um just likes to be able to move around quite a bit and not that have the hassle of a wire attached to your phone connected to your phone connected to the pods or the earphones these are really really good and i love the fact that you can get them for android phones as well samsung has them <coughs> so many brands have them i'm sorry hang on <coughs> next my reading i read so much in 2020 not only because i had a lot of time to read i was home a lot of the time um but i read and it opened up my mind it opened up my imagination i read a, a, a few non-fiction books but most of the books that i read were fiction you know thriller adult contemporary literary fiction i loved 
reading. It ignited 2020, literally ignited my passion for reading. And I'm showing you this book because this is the last book that I finished in 2020, 21. I finished it, I think, on the 1st of January. Uh, so I'm going to count it as a 2021 book and it'll go into my wrap ups and all of that. I love this book. This is The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. I'm not going to talk about it because that's not the point. That, that's not the point of this video. But reading really, really calmed me. It calmed my mental space. It introduced me to another world. It took me on journeys, man. I was on journeys in Nigeria and I was on journeys in uh, 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 Mallard which is a fiction town somewhere <laughs> in the States. I was on journeys in, uh, what else did I read? My God, in Ghana. I was on journeys in Scotland, all because of my reading. And I loved each and every moment. Reading was probably the best thing to come out of 2020 for me, and I loved it. And I've got, a uh, uh, um, because of that, a book club formed brown skin reads which currently has i think safely i can say has about 20 something um members but that's what they did that's what they did this one might shock you guys a little bit it really might but i'm gonna say it because they I, they are some of the things that i loved balisa my friend introduced me to these two things in 2020 the first one being floss. She introduced me to floss because she flosses quite a lot. She carries floss with her in her bag. She's just constantly flossing. And I never used to floss as much, but my, my teeth, listen, the game changed when I started flossing every night. The game essentially changed. Eating things like steak and all of that, and then flossing afterwards. <laughs> It's a whole entire game changer. As stupid as it sounds, it's a whole entire game changer, especially for somebody with sensitive teeth. Flossing is amazing. Um, it's really, really good. So I really enjoyed um, trying out different types of flosses. This is the last one that she recommended as the floss queen because she tries different types of flosses out. But this one, is beautiful doesn't really hurt the teeth and doesn't feel abrasive uh, it's got like a satinish kind of I don't know what they call it finishing or whatever but it's really really good and I wanted to mention it okay okay the next thing that I really hadn't I'd shied away from for a very long time until Palisa came into my life and 20 it happened in 2020 gum I started eating a lot of gum uh, especially on the days where I would feel quite anxious I would take a stick of gum and I would put it in my mouth and I would chew and I would chew and miraculously it calmed me down. I don't know how that happened, but I am not complaining because I'm just like, Chepisi, how can Chepisi calm me down? But it did and I loved it. It kept my mouth busy. Also at the same time, it uh, kept me from overeating. So if I felt like I've been eating too much today. I would stick a gum. A kick. <laughs> I would put a stick of gum in my mouth and I'd be chewing on that thing for quite some time. That when I took it out, I didn't feel hungry anymore. I didn't feel the need to just snack on something. This is the professional white spearmint flavored chewing gum. I never thought I would say gum is one of my favorites, but I am here saying gum is one of my favorites. <laughs> One of my favorite things, perfume. And the two that I use quite a bit in 2020, this is a new purchase of this. You must have seen it in one of my vlogs where I was un unboxing, not unboxing, where I was hauling some things that I picked up, the diffuser one, yeah. Um, so I had this, I had a previous a 50 ml of this, and my first one was a 30 ml. And I went and I bit the bullet and I picked up I picked up Elizabeth Arden's white tea. If you want a perfume that is really good, that is a bang for your buck. Honestly, it's one of the cheapest ones out there when it comes to perfumes. I swear to you guys. I picked up 100 mil for under, it was on special. I think I picked it up for 600 bucks. 100 mil, Lona. And this thing lasts on the body. And on a day like this, where I'm wearing a white blouse and I'm just looking kind of, uh, 
Uh, oh, the notes, the notes. It's really fresh, clean. I love it for the summertime. And it's a scent that I can get away with wearing every single day. Because even if it's finished, I wouldn't mind repurchasing it because it doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So I really, really loved, loved the scent uh, in 2020. I'm not going to lie, man. I'm just going to tell it like it is. And I love this one in the summertime. In the wintertime, I loved this Armani Privé Ombre Eccentrico. I've mentioned this perfume quite a bit on my channel. I've mentioned it. I've mentioned it quite a bit on my channel and I love the scent. Can you talk about this little stone-like looking, gem-like looking, crystal-like looking thing as a cap? <laughs> it smells great. It's dark. It's musky. It's ambery. It's this, the notes of this are perfect. It's oody. It's oud. O-U-D. Oud. It feels very oody for me um, and I love scents like this in the winter time. So I did use this quite a bit in the winter time. I mean, this baby is probably on its last leg somewhere like last legs. <laughs> and it's so expensive. <laughs> My perfumes kind of made me happy. I'm not even going to lie. My perfumes really, really made me happy in the in 2020. Because you're not going anywhere, but at the same time, you keep looking at your perfumes every day and you're like, ah, let me just... And then there you're sitting and you can smell them in your blankets. You can smell them on, on like your couch. On, oh, uh, oh, uh, we love them. Another thing that I loved in 2020 was hand cream. Now I'm showing you this particular one, but I've mentioned a couple of hand creams in the 2020 period with my vlogs uh, that I loved. So this one is from Poetry and this one is Wildflower. I guess. My God, it smells so amazing. The reason why I'm mentioning a hand cream as a loved favorite of mine for 2020 is hand sanitizer. Can we talk about how hand sanitizer leaves your hands feeling? Exactly. So hand cream, I would always sanitize and then, oops, a little bit of hand cream. And then, and my hands feel fantastic. They didn't feel super dry and just uh, and give you that really really dry chafy chapty kind of feeling that sanitizer leaves on your hands so i really did appreciate a good hand cream in 2020 you see all of these things are things that i actually properly used i didn't want to sit here and talk about things that i barely used like makeup or things like i barely used makeup in 2020 so why would i sit here and tell you that this 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 makeup product was a favorite come on now let me be practical so that's what i'm doing next up is my spirituality took a huge climb in 2020 i prayed more than i ever have in 2020 i prayed because people were dying i prayed because i was worried about my family i prayed because i was worried about my job and the security of jobs for the people that i work with and people who have lost their jobs i prayed a lot in 2020 and so this goes hand in hand with the mindfulness journal that I showed you the pink one I always when I'm reading from the Bible each and every night and I'm reading the word of the day the verse of the day however you, way you want to say it um, I always open my Bible and I write it down in my mindfulness and spirituality journal and I think about it I write down the passage and I write down what it means to me and then I pray my spirituality a beautiful climb and i hope i can only hope and pray that god draws me closer to me in my faith and um god draws me closer to him in my faith so that i can continue to live this life because i have felt very full in terms of my spirituality and i felt like god has been listening to a lot of my prayers in terms of my spirituality and i loved that I did. I really did. So again, uh, with my praying, another thing that is a favorite of mine are pillar candles. I think you guys know why. I have never bought, I have spent a dime and a buck on pillar candles in 2020 because I burn a candle every single night. I used to burn it right throughout the day, but I realized that, ah, ha, 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 my pockets, my pockets, man, my pockets. The sun is between the clouds and I can't do anything about it. Okay. Um, 
I, and I felt like my pockets were really taking a major knock when I burn a candle throughout the day. So what I would do is just burn the candle at night after um, I light it just as I'm about to pray and I keep it burning throughout the night and then I blow it out in the morning. And it's just, it's all tied with my faith and my spirituality and it's really, really helped me. It helps me sleep. You know, just have the light of the candle. Right. Can we have pills as favorites? <laughs> I'll explain why. Vitamins. Vitamins were a favorite of mine in 2020. Because do I need to explain why? COVID-19. Okay. Um, and because of me taking vitamins, more specifically zinc c and d quite a bit every day um because of me taking these vitamins i haven't gotten sick with the flu even and i genuinely feel like it's because of the vitamins a lot of the time i get sick very easily especially in the winter time but i didn't this time around i didn't get sick yes it's also possibly because we weren't going out and interacting with other people as often but i feel like these immune boosters really really did something for me and i'm very very religious and pedantic about taking them and i feel like you should too we are not out of this prevention is better than cure whatever you can take or do to help strengthen your immune system or boost your immune system against this virus please take it please please take it please take it so these came in very very handy for me i love them i love them so food and snacks something i really really enjoyed during <laughs> okay something that i really really enjoyed during lockdown were the samyang noodles now i tasted the spicy samyang noodles in one of my vlogs the really hot ones the hot spicy noodle challenge remember that and since then those ones are really really hot the ones in the red packet are really super hot but the other ones that aren't as bad they still have a little bit of spice to them okay they they still they still hit okay but they are delicious and i ate these quite a bit in uh lockdown because they're quick it's something easy it's quick you can make it quickly and um enjoy it if you want a little something spicy after you know a morning where you've been rah, 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 this is really good comes in quite handy bar right by me stocks them in different flavors you get the beef flavor you got the kimchi flavor you got the chicken flavor it, it different colors even as i lived my best life with these so i really really oh my god guys don't break I really, really enjoyed them. And then on the days where I felt like, okay, you need to limit your eating, relax, snack on something, but snack on something that's worth snacking on, I picked up the roasted seaweed snacks, wasabi flavored. See, there the sun is doing its thing again. I picked up the roasted seaweed snacks, wasabi flavored from Woolies. Pick these up. What do you even mean? They are so good. I don't know if there's anybody else who enjoys these like I do, but man, I really, really love these. And so, yeah, I've been picking quite a few of those up and eating them when I just feel like, okay, rather don't eat this, eat this, snack on this. And that's what I did. And um, what else did I enjoy? I enjoyed some of my favorites were flowers. I picked up if you follow me on Instagram, you will see that I have I had been posting quite a bit of flowers during uh, 2020 and the lockdown period because flowers just made me happy. They make me really happy. And um, so I would pick them up all the time when I would go for my weekly shop. I would make sure that we go again with the sun. Thank you very much. For ruining my video so i would pick up flowers every time i would go to the shops flowers make me happy flowers uh just bring an air of freshness to a house of course my plants have always been my lovers i love you guys and of course picked up some new plants as well that sit in other rooms of the house that you actually don't get to see however flowers and plants really 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 made my lockdown just really just a lot more calmer 
a lot more of a happier space being in the house every day so yeah also raked up quite a bill buying flowers <laughs> but i love them and they were completely completely worth it um, can't think of anything else so i'm gonna wrap it up here those were my 2020 favorites no beauty items maybe if you want to include perfume and beauty but no really beauty items and had a good time with them love these so much um again the bible that i use is a stormy or martian the praying woman bible i get a lot of questions about this bible stormy or martian praying woman let me show you let me just show you this is the bible that i use i bought this bible a couple of years ago so i don't know if it's available now but that's the bible that i use because people tend to see on my instagram when i post things up from the bible and they ask me what bible is it stormy or martian prayer and study helps uh power of a woman power of a praying woman bible i hope that helps okay i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed this video do apologize for the light changes unfortunately i can't control that i do use natural light to film and i prefer it that way i'm not really a big studio lights kind of gal and whatever but i i really like the natural light so i apologize for the lighting changes but if you enjoyed this video please do subscribe join the family let's talk let's chat follow me on instagram as well i i tend to i, I really kind of like my instagram page so follow me on instagram as well and um i'll talk to you in the next video sayonara <laughs> see you soon